Welcome to the Daily Review. This is the Fed Zach, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is July 25th, 2024, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the markets almost across the board tumble. But first, looking at today, no major economic events. So starting out with the Forex symbols, the U.S. dollar strengthens versus the major pairs. The major pairs sell off versus the U.S. dollar. That includes everything, the euro, the Japanese yen leading the way. So that's going to be a point of focus today. Now shifting over to the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq both, both tumble. And looking at commodities, oil and gold sold off as well. Now when we look at stocks, the market sold off across the board. But specifically, Tesla selling off over 12%. Now lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin wasn't any different. It sold off and tapered lower. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can possibly expect from today's trading. So here you go, first with the Japanese yen, just as a disclaimer before we start, when the markets sell off like this, they're trading in tandem, okay? What means is if the Dow Jones is selling off, the dollar gets stronger, and that's what's happening right now. The dollar is getting stronger versus the major pairs, except the Japanese yen, okay? The Japanese yen actually strengthening here versus US dollar as it's made its way back from 162 down to 152. So this is really a anomaly with what's happening in the Japanese yen. Maybe the market's getting stronger there and it's solidifying itself. So this is really very important. Now, it's at supportish level. It's at second supportish level. It was at 155 and then at 153 and now at 152 it's on supportish level. However, the stronger support level is 151.56. So we may see a further sell off. Now jumping into the GBP USD also sold off, but you see the sell off isn't as strong. The dollar getting stronger here, okay, because it's the GBP USD and looking at the Euro USD also. The major pairs did weaken versus the dollar. Now jumping into commodities, look at gold. Wow, we we expected it to bounce off of this area and hold above somewhere in the 24, 34-ish area, but did not. And sure enough, this looks like a head and shoulders, right? There's your head. This is one shoulder. This is your second shoulder, but 24, 18. And sure enough, 23.71 is where we're at. So I do expect a counter move, okay, onto the upside. That's going to possibly make its way. Now looking at crude oil also tanking here to $76 a barrel. Now it is still trading in a range, but it did sell off, okay? Couldn't have anticipated this as not was was not an easy trade when you look at these two. However, looking at the Dow Jones selling off to 40,177. Now this is not huge. It's only about 1500 points off of our all-time record highs. But we are at supportish level, so this is going to be an important junction for us. And if we look at the NASDAQ, okay, the NASDAQ did sell off much stronger, much wilder than the Dow Jones, really representing the tech stocks. So let's take a look at those tech stocks, all right, specifically Tesla. Tesla had a gap down and a sell off from 244-ish level down to 215. That's a major, major retracement, and it's been a wild, wild ride for Tesla as it perked itself up all the way up to, to 270, now finding itself back down to 215. Now looking at the other major stocks, Meta also, big gap down, testing that low. If you look at Microsoft, also a big sell-off there. So all across the board, all the major tech stocks really took a beating yesterday. Apple as well took a big sell-off to 218. This is natural. This happens in the markets. This is good, okay? It gives us more opportunity to kind of let the dust settle and see which way we're going to go next, okay, as this is all unfolding. Now, looking at NVIDIA also selling off quite aggressively. You can't see it in a one-hour chart because, you know, the chart is still not really acclimated after that um, stock split. However, it's selling below its low of 114, which was a supportish level. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, was not any different, wasn't immune to what was happening in the sell-off of the market and sold off as well. And we're testing our 63, 500-ish level, which is important, okay, which we may see ourselves bouncing off of. So lots of activity in the market, a major sell-off. Let's see if we get the counter move today. Sometimes that does happen as it's a over reaction to a sell-off market will have a bounce. So look for that today, but be careful because, you know, 
on the downside, we could still have further dough. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.